It's the most famous military base whose existence the government won't even acknowledge until now. I'm Hadley Malcolm, and this is USA Now for August 16th, 2013. Area 51, it's been the subject of conspiracy theories for decades. Aliens, UFOs, we may never know. But for the first time, the CIA is acknowledging Area 51 exists. In a CIA history of the U-2 spy plane program released yesterday, mentions of Area 51 are restored. George Washington University's National Security Archive just received the history as part of a public records request from 2005. In a previous version GW got in 2002, mentions of Area 51 were all redacted. Conspiracy theorists have believed for years that the government is storing the remains of crashed UFOs at Area 51. The base has been the subject of dozens of movies. The most famous may be Independence Day. It's also the subject of several documentaries, including this one from National Geographic. So were there ever really UFOs there? Not according to the document, but it is where the military developed the U-2 and SR-71 spy planes. Sightings of those high-flying planes began the rumors of alien aircraft in the Nevada desert. Area 51 is northwest of Las Vegas, next to Groom Lake, a dry lake bed that allowed test aircraft to land from any direction. Take a look at this overhead shot. You can see airstrips and a cluster of buildings. Area 51 is named for the military grid coordinate it occupies. Much of the information in the declassified document was already known to Area 51 enthusiasts. But some say the end to official secrecy about the base could mean more information to come. Don't miss any updates to this story. Head to usatoday.com for more.